Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by TheStreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're going to talk about here is a cool growing feature within the Discovery Plus app. If you're unfamiliar with Discovery Plus, it is a paid service that allows you to find all of this content that's owned by Discovery, as well as a number of things from A&E Entertainment. It, it's a, just a big compilation of cooking shows, reality shows, lifestyle shows, all kinds of things. What they're doing now, though, is expanding on what some people would call live channels. They're not exactly live. They're more, I would call it curated channels. But what they do is gather up shows and put them all in one place. For instance, here we are at Discovery Plus Channels. And if you click on the Fixer Upper section, you're just going to see one episode of Fixer Upper after another, after another, after another. There's no pausing. There's no fast forwarding and rewinding. There's no selection. You don't get to decide what's playing. But what it allows you to do is what they call the lean back experience, which is kind of a traditional television viewing. You just turn it on and you're watching the Property Brothers. After one episode of the Property Brothers ends, another episode of the Property Brothers will come on. It's kind of like when you set a streamer, you know, to just keep on going. Except this takes the thought out of it. Now, if you're already familiar with Discovery Plus, don't worry. They're not going to get rid of the ability to find the specific shows that you want, watch them when you want on demand, which, so that you can pause and stop and come back to things. All of those categories are still there, and there are just thousands and thousands of things to see. What this is doing is addressing what's been becoming a very popular thing. People really enjoy watching stuff without having to be their own program director, basically. But for those of you know you who want to continue to just keep putting things in your stuff, in your list, watching what you want when you want, and it's all there. It's very important to note that there are a couple of ways to look through Discovery Plus. As you see, there's this categories under Browse and Home. Something else that you need to pay attention to is you see the For You. For You is where you have to be in order to get to that streaming section. If you're under something like Relationships or True Crime or any of those other headings, there is not, at this point, a section for Discovery Plus channels. Now, you might ask, well, why won't you just launch the channel so I can see what's playing on it? And that's a perfectly legitimate question if you're asking that right now, but here's the answer. It's because YouTube is pretty strict now about what's playing in your videos. You've got to be very careful about music, commercials. You've got to be careful about what you say in general, about your, you know, your content, you know, the, the subject matter. There's nothing controversial about talking about Discovery Plus, though, so we don't have to worry there. But in order to avoid disruptions to the channel, I have just shy away from showing clips and things like that. It's just a rabbit hole that I don't feel like going down. So I hope you don't mind. But in general, I really like what I've seen from this section. I wonder if we're going to see an expansion of this, something that looks more like what people call fasts, free ad-supported streaming services. It wouldn't surprise me to see them launch something similar to what you see in Peacock, where there's an entire grid of just curated things rolling out through this. It would be easy enough to build channels for multiple services within Discovery+. Plus. And maybe an Ancient Aliens channel or something like that. We'll see. But that is where they are at the moment. So if you haven't checked out Discovery Plus yet, it's pretty inexpensive. They have two tiers. You know, prices change, so I won't don't quote me on it. But they're about it's about five dollars, six dollars for the ad supported, 
a little more expensive for the ad free one you know a, a month after I make this video they may raise it by a dollar so like I said let's not worry too much about the actual price it's all going to be on their website but if you're a fan of this content this is a really excellent service for you and these Discovery Plus channels are just another way to enjoy the stuff that you enjoy. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please subscribe to our channel. Please share this video with your friends. And you know, click the bell so that you can see updates when we put out new stuff on channels and apps. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.